What is up my cranky crew? Did the for Crank gameplays and today we are here in the stairs <laughs> the Stanley Parable The Stanley Parable Ultra Ultra Deluxe is what I think is Ultra Deluxe? Okay. The makers of the Stanley <laughs> Jesus Christ. I haven't recorded anything in such a long time. The wonderful people that made the original Stanley Parable have I don't know if they've remade it or really what. I was talking to Sean about it uh, because he's in LA right now. We've been hanging out and he told me that I should play it because I played the Stanley Parable way, way, way long time, uh, long time ago. I'll link that in the description slash I'll make a card for it. I don't even remember when I played that, but I definitely did. Um, so I wanted to, to play the Stanley Parable again. Uh, because apparently it's just as, if not more amazing than it was before. Here we go. We remember it. Oh, it's the, the computer down there and it goes on forever. How far can you go, editor? You're playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Let's begin the game. I played the Stanley Parable, I think back when it first came out, which I can't remember. This is the story of a man named Stanley. <laughs> I remember that voice. Stanley worked for a company in a big uh, building where he was employee number 427. Hell employee yeah, number gamer. Employee 427's job was simple. This is bringing back so much. in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Mm -hmm. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Wow. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And wow, wow, wow. Others might have considered it soul lifting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. As though he had been the monotony. Exactly he loved the Stanley monotony. It was his was purpose. Happy. Was he happy or did he and just then think one he was day, happy? Something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. He saw a titty. Something he would never quite forget. A titty. <laughs> he had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Uh -oh, no one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But then but as he came to I his took wits control. and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. <laughs> oh man, every sneeze was a link to my tour. That's crazy. All right, we're back in it. I can't remember what he just said. 427, here we go, baby. Here we go. What does that say? I hate Mondays. <laughs> Who am I, Garfield? Wow. Beautiful day out today, huh? Be my Valentine. Number of Oh, dude! It's number 420! Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Wow. Nor did it advance the story in any way. <laughs> so, if you don't know the Stanley Parable, the narrator, it gets, it's very, very, very meta. So, you know, the narrator is going to start saying things like, it's not advancing the story and being very obvious. It's an extremely clever game. Uh, where am I going? The meeting room? When Stanley oh. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. We'll follow the rules for now. Follow the rules for now. But that's sort of how you can f shit up. Yet Ooh, there the was meeting not a room. single person here either. Tips for not Feeling getting fired. a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided Don't to go get up fired. to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. What do people want? Things, money, more money, things, but with money to buy more things. Graphs, graphs about things and money. <laughs> we have our new product. <laughs> it's just graphs. Buy quarterly post review review. We need reviews. Less reviews. 402 plus 405. Want to get rid of the death sport portion in the primary review schedule. But I think that's a stupid idea. More water coolers, more water cooler heaters. <laughs> Charts need to be more hip to appeal to teenage demographics. Find teenagers to put in teenage demographic. Big net, <laughs> some sort of child trap. <laughs> Lot of percent, teenagers. Size of demographic, <laughs> space between the teenagers. Uh, it's so good. Ooh, 
please no more charts i'm begging the boss appreciation minute on your boss appreciation minute mark worksheet circle the top 20 things you love most about your boss fill out in triplicate and return up oh, okay let's go to the boss's room synergize core value expenditures <laughs> shift global market paradigm monetize free to play it's all this fucking drivel Ooh, room closet oh <gasps> Whoa. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he ah. turned around and got back on track. To your eyes, there's nothing here, but to me, there's an infinite world of possibilities for me to fuck shit up. There was nothing here. Hell yeah. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs, upstairs. to his boss's office. Okay. Whoa. Executive bathroom, huh? Oh. <gasps> Wow. To be rich isn't a crime. To commit crimes isn't it rich? What a life it would be to have to pick just one. What a life it would be if I could read. Extreme bathrooms. Bath by testifies on the trial of the century. Tired of getting ash on your porcelain? Faucet pipes. I love how every time you click it sounds like a keyboard. Achievement unlocked. You can't jump. Is this the boss's room? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again uh, stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Damn. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley mm. wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? Uh -huh. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing <laughs> random buttons on the keyboard, Stanley happened Whoa. to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped Damn. into the newly opened passageway. Shit, yeah. Um, also, I don't remember a lot from the Stanley Parable because it was such a long time ago that I played it. I remember certain little things, but overall I don't really remember much. Cause one, I played it such a long time ago and I think I was like 15 when I played it. Uh, do I just go down? Rut row raggy. Mm. A loading Descending screen. deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Uh -huh. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though what he felt feeling, more Stan? free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Uh, Why did he feel this now? We're when becoming years, sentient. It had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Well, ah, uh, let's continue. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. But there's an escape! But there's an escape! Okay, we'll we'll play. We'll play your games for now. Oh, it's like Cerebro. Damn. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Television what horrible screens. secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Damn, did he have the strength to find out? Do I have the strength to find out? I can't even jump. How am I going to have the strength to do anything? My legs are worthless. Okay. Ooh. Now the monitors jumped to the Fired. Their true nature revealed. Each Damn. bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. But none of them are here. One of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Where's 427? <gasps> there I am! CCTV. Damn, dude. Where is everybody? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Mm -hmm. Damn. No, 
He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept I, it. I His can't own accept life this. In someone else's control? Never. It Never. was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Stanley, have you ever even seen the outside world? But have you even group, ever seen the a heart bird? Of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Hell yeah, For gamer. He would dismantle the controls once and Let's for all. Let's do it, Stanley. Mind controls idle waiting input. Let's destroy it all from the inside out. System power. Turn the power off. Yeah! Stanley, look at us. But hold on, is there a game anymore? If we... Is there a game? Is there even a game? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Was it? Is this heaven? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom Get was us. mere moments away. And yet, I am going to learn to door jump! Slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Uh, Where had his co-workers gone? Where had How had gone? he been freed from the machine's <gasps> ground? A cloud! What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, uh, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking. This? But happiness. It's a beauty Perhaps you will. his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Mm. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It Stanley? was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley, we're gonna find you a big titty goth girl. Let's go. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. Mm. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Ah. Uh. And guys, that's the Stanley Parable. That's the whole game. There's nothing more to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. So obviously, that's just if you play the game by following every single instruction, that's it. All but there's so much more. What could See, it mean? now we're back at the beginning. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Mm, perhaps. Perhaps. So now... I wanted to just go through that once, obviously, show you what it was, if you hadn't seen it before. And now we're gonna do whatever and wherever we want to go. Hmm? So many things we can do. See, I wanna go in here. I wanna go in here. Sales this quarter. <gasps> if I do it enough times. Mm. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Not this time! This was not the correct way to the meeting room, <laughs> and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Oh, Perhaps man. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Hmm, let's see what the employee lounge has to offer. Ooh, 4B9. Interesting. 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 I love all of the, like, <laughs> all of the art. It's just, like, random nature. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. Yes. It had really been worth the detour after all, just mm. to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Look at the architecture. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Drinking it all in? <laughs> all right, let's see if we can find something. Let's see if we yes. can get something. Really, Coffee, really huh? worth it being here in the room. Mm -hmm. A room so utterly captivating 
that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really Beautiful art, it. though. Beautiful. All right. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first here? open door on his left. Mm, yes, but what if there was another possibility? What if instead we went straight? <laughs> Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Yes, but now I'm sentient. Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. Don't lie. Don't uh, lie. Anything here? Ooh. Ooh, a key card. <gasps> I need a key card, don't I? <gasps> Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off of the cargo lift, $5,000. Well, what, what if we just... Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we... But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Hell yeah. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. I am very powerful and I am in control of my own destiny. Okay, so we actually do die. Okay, All I'm gonna go back to where we gone. just were. Okay, here we go. Back to here. We won't jump this time. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Who are you? I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Well, who I are you? Investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Mm -hmm. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. For her? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put for your her. work aside. To let her back into your life. Who is she? She's been waiting. Who is she? Whomst? Let's see, what do we have here? Urgent. Employees should never, under any circumstances, attempt to move. <laughs> All right, what do we have in here? What, who is she? Tell me who she is. I wish I could slightly zoom in with my vision and go. Huh. Put some little glasses on me. My eyes real big. Oh. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pick up the phone. Hello? Mom? Huh? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. The bread? All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about... Your day. Oh, you're beautiful! <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? I thought that maybe it would be possible. They want to commit their life to you. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. Oh. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Hmm. <laughs> she just slides back. This is it's a very so sad pretty. story about the death of a man named Stanley. Death. Good morning. Press G on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Oh. Press you. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. I'm not eating now lunch. he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. It's time to undo. I'm not going to press O. Not going to. Nope. Uh, I'm just gonna sit back, oh, relax, and not press O. Hmm. I don't have to press O. I don't have to press anything. Should I press a different letter? What if I pressed F or R? What if, is there anything else in here that I could do? What about P or I? 
L M N. Can I open the fridge? Okay, I'll press O. But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. Ah. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Press U to watch TV. And so he began to fantasize about his own it job. Changed. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Press V to spend time with the boys? The boys! So it's boy time, further. baby! He imagined that he came to two open doors mm -hmm. and that he could go through either. Okay. At last, choice. Choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. Yes, the as long as my boys are on the other his end. His decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to be. Some behold. boys and some brews. Press F to prepare dinner. As he wandered through this fantasy oh. world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another a was a line game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Oh. <laughs> Press M to tell your kids a story. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again and then again and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Well, well I don't Surely really feel an free right down now. Some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Press R to tell your wife you love her. Linda? You know, after all these years, I, um. Sorry, I, uh. I never thought that I would meet somebody like you, Linda. Someone so loving caring and someone who just wanted to laugh with me you know someone who you could just talk to and you know Linda you have become so important to me I love your smile I love your laugh I love you know you're so beautiful everything about you is so colorful inside and out and I I just can't imagine living my life without you because you bring so much to it so Linda I just want to let you know that I love you but there is no answer <laughs> how could there possibly be in reality all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has uh, nothing, nothing changed. has changed the longer uh, he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. Which is the real life, which is the fake life. You know? Press I to go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley. The next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay. How, how long? I'm just going to press it. You see? Can you just not hear me? 
How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Ah. <sighs> Press you to question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. Not so different after I'll all? I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Your voice is so Perhaps, soothing, sir. Well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. Please die. And I try. <laughs> Does it just kill you? All, of All right, we're back at the start. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <gasps> new content. New. New content. Uh, guys, I. I love content. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? I don't know. What lies beyond? <gasps> it's a Disney ride! Yes, yes, yes! Bring me Mickey! Ooh. It's a little ride along. Wow. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. <laughs> As you may know, the Stanley Parable <laughs> was a video game released okay. in 2013 on home computers. Wow. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the factory. Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, wow. a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Wow. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Wow. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. That was delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Me too. Okay, so far it's an elephant. Huh? Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. I'm sure it is. Um, can we... Is it broken? Can we go? What's going on here? Or... Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... Up? I think... Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Right, Move it finally, up. Finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. I Let's love new it. content, baby! So... Hmm. Mr. Hmm. Man with the Voice. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mm. mostly tedious. Yeah. It's a oh, okay. Oh. Let's see the content. Give Let's me the content, see. Stanley. Give me the content, Stanley. Let's go. I love content. It's what? <gasps> All right. All right. Let's see. It's the jump circle. I can't jump outside of the circle. Whoa! Look at this, guys! I can jump! That's incredible. I want to save some jumps. What if there's places... What if there's places that I can jump in the future? I don't want to run out of all my jumps. I'm 24 is my favorite number. I'm going to leave it at 24, okay? I'm going to say that maybe... Is, is that it? I can jump in Surely the that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Maybe. Goodness. Another Could there elevator. be a, a crouch Stanley, I have square? To say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. Hmm. It's just elevators and jumping. Yeah. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this Basically. is new content, then I can just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. There now, you go. I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. Yeah. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And mm -hmm. if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. Very good, very good. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Okay, what what is it going to be? Thank you for enjoying the new content. That's it? 
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley, <laughs> this is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started oh, you know, on the business, level of craftsmanship baby. that's gone into it. In mm. fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation That's around so the good. new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game? Oh, but I like we'll the new content. we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No Aww. frills, no gimmicks. Hmm. Just you and me having a great time together like always. But I like what do you the new say, friend? I like the new content. Oh, I don't have a choice. Okay. Oh. But this is different. This is very different. Where are we? Psst. Stanley! I can Come crouch! In the vent! I want to show you something. I can crouch. He and I are on the same team now, I feel like. <gasps> Coffee nut. He took the... I love being able to crouch. And I have unlimited of them. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned mm. out to be. Well, it yeah, got I me remember. thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. Mm -hmm. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. It's Just Elden our Ring! Secret. <laughs> Take what a if look. it literally was Elden Ring? <laughs> wow. I call it the Memory Zone. Wow. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. This is amazing. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. This is incredible. You see, wow. Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was huh. before it was solid with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013 festival. when the game originally launched? Back then, video games <laughs> the had last integrity. Of us. <laughs> Back then, it all meant something. Uh, that's really oh, funny. Waste. Zone, sweet zone. What else do we have here? Ah, Steam. Is this the day it was launched? Ah, that's really cool. Can't go in there. Damn. Our first kiss, my first car. The release of Stanley Parable in 2013. <laughs> Oh. The memory zone. 2013. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Pull up some footage of me playing the Pitch Stanley Parable in 2013. Just a little bit. Wow, wasn't that nice? I remember 2013 fondly. Mm. Ah, they were using Firefox. Good times. Good times. Damn. A trip down memory lane. Smile because it happened. Whoa. The first dollar! Wow. The demo of it! That's cool. Go outside, don't play for five years. Unachievable, it's impossible to get this achievement. Work in progress. This is so nice. The creator is surprisingly down to earth. <laughs> uh, can we sit on this bench? Nope. Just sweet all out. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, 
We're so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art. Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear Damn. that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. Pretty cool. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. <laughs> it's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless yeah. husk with an hour of new elevator content. But it's so original. <laughs> it's just a photo of Minecraft. <laughs> it was good. Damn. Person of the year. There he is. Damn. The greatest wealth is memory. Can't go down there anymore. I was gonna go back and go downstairs. Here's another moving passage, Perfect this textures. time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you mm. get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. Well, it didn't need anything nine out of ten else. isn't it didn't perfect. need new content. It just needed to be left alone, to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Hmm. Oh. But, but how could I... The serious room. I can't get there. The boxes are in the way. Oh. These were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Hmm. Wait. Hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. Oh, What's no. this? What's down here? These are bad memories. Oh no. Oh god no. Bad Stanley, reviews. It's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video oh, game distributor. Oh no. I haven't looked at these in years. Oh no, we got to go back. What's being we got to go back. It's like the here. fucking YouTube so comments. This is going to be awful. As well, weren't they? No, 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 no. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. This is what YouTube comments are like! Gags ...to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already uh. such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. It's miserable out here. Miserable! Oh, there's gonna be so many porn bots in the comments making the same actual genuine comment that one person made and just regurgitating it over okay, and over and over with the sense. name of click to- the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? I don't think you're preachy, you can tell me narrator. If I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. I don't think oh, you're goodness. preachy. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't yeah. know how much fluff Noodle I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it. Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. Forever These black and ever. marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Hmm. What's this one got to say? You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. New content. A skip button. Skip button. Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. <laughs> if I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews oh. from the record. Oh. Only oh. positive reviews oh. of the Stanley oh. Parable. That's oh. Oh. Something's happening. And it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, anything? a skip button we shall have. 
You don't have to do that. You don't have to conform to what the assholes are saying. I don't want to press it. And I it like is. you. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll I don't... help you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. I it's don't what want the to. Players have been asking for. It's not what and I I'm was very asking proud for. To have delivered. No. no more listening to me rambling on and on. No, and on. No, 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 no. I don't want to do it. Parable is a game for the people, mm. and if the people I'm not want people. silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. I don't well, want don't it. Sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. No. Here. I don't want we'll to. pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue. And I don't something want like to. I want to hear what the you have to say. And the choices, or what have you, <laughs> and therefore by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably we all until the end of time. Time, at which time everything all at once. So now you see, blah 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 blah. I don't blah, want blah, to. Blah, blah, blah. We've eaten too much, and it can't be just yet. No, no, until two hundred and forty-five. That the logic of elimination working backwards. I don't want to. The deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. Does he it just went go on, on forever? For nearly ten thousand years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. <laughs> it's the only thing there is. How many billions left? And until so much more than forever ago, which is why I say, the story and the choices, uh, or what have you, and therefore by becoming it is. I didn't want to. Oh, you're back. You see, you were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course. I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Or maybe a minute. Is it trying to get me to skip Look, again? I'll outline it for you very briefly. <laughs> you can tell me what you think. <laughs> well, there, sport. You really did catch me rambling. It, didn't funny. You? But that's the power of the button. Mm. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's, and all, it's over. all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie Nine will say about this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. I have no I idea. Guess I should become better educated on exactly how Steam works. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise of making the skip button. Although I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is yes. becoming longer and longer. Oh. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? 45 it's minutes? Not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ram... Stanley, Stanley, <laughs> Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. 12 hours? You've just been frozen there. Mm. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting... Oh, Stanley, you're back. <laughs> you're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. <sighs> Stanley, I I think it's been a week. <laughs> the plant's or dead. Two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Damn. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? How long? Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been oh, through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is... Is he dead? Oh no, is he dead? Hello? Oh, is the clock still working? The clock's dead. The only thing I have left is this button. I skipped through all my time. I want it back. Turn it upside down. Make it a rewind button. Fire alarm 
phone's going off. It's out of battery. Can I get you to shut up? But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a <laughs> He's point. Back. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then, he's talking too much, they said. First, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. <laughs> it's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart that the back? words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences. Nope. Is this this forever? Is it, is it this forever? The when? end is never the end, 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 is never the There's a leak. There's a leak in the roof. Can I get back there? Is there anything I can go back to? Can I go anywhere? Not really. There's no doors or anything. Just the skip button forever. Would you skip on me? Would you skip me? The roof caved in. But maybe this is the only way we can escape. Sunlight. Finally, sunlight. There's a fly. This is so weird. I and amazing. Whoa! Nature's healing, gamers. Nature's healing after the Steam reviews. How long have we been skipping for? Oh, everything's dead again. Oh, the ashes of my leafy friends. I don't like this place. I want to skip again. <laughs> Get me out of here. Does this work still? Skip button? You're the only thing I had! The only consistency in my life! The only thing I could rely on! Oh, it's gone. Hello? like Dune. Ba, 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 ba. I'm gonna see if I can go back and skip. I don't think I can. <gasps> oh. All right, friends. I'm going to end this here for now. Uh, I'm definitely going to record more of this because I want to see how much more the game has to offer. I think so much more, but goddamn, it's so clever and it's so self-aware. It's really refreshing. I don't know. Um, that's awesome. I will leave in the description down below a link to my original playthrough of the Stanley Parable, which I hope is up because that would have been on the old Crank Gameplays. So I hope that's there. So you can go and watch that. Uh, leave me negative reviews on that video. <laughs> but, uh, that, God damn, that's so good. Uh, I can't wait to play more of that and more will definitely be coming soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to slap that like button right in the face and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Stay cranky. Bye. What is something cranky proof?